For 14-year-old Jordan, going to school every day is more of a challenge than just learning lessons. He's been diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD. The real world can be overwhelming to kids with ADHD. Caught in a private whirl of sights and sounds, they're easily distracted and have trouble keeping their attention on one task. Stimulants like Ritalin can help, but leave many kids feeling anxious and jittery. Jordan had been on medications and been through all kinds of uh, psychotherapies and it was getting very difficult for us. So I used to get calls from the school almost on a weekly basis, Jordan's misbehaving in class, he's not paying attention. But thanks to a strategy originally devised for NASA pilots, Jordan's starting a new chapter in his life, all on a unique video game that's designed to train the user's mind. Biofeedback is essentially a method to show you what is going on in your body so that you can learn to control it voluntarily. Its supporters point to athletes, musicians, and even astronauts who have used the method to improve performance. Dr. Alan Pope hit on the video game idea by working with NASA pilots and flight simulators. The video game's difficulty, the video game's responsiveness to their inputs is adjusted according to what they're producing in brainwaves. When children produce the most desirable brain waves, the skateboarder in the game speeds up, encouraging them to keep concentrating. Pope's controller can be plugged into popular off-the-shelf game systems so that kids can train with a new game whenever they need a change. Whether using traditional biofeedback or the new video game, all of the children studied made significant gains. They improved both their behavior and their ability to pay attention. But the kids who used video games were far more eager to show up at the clinic. After his biofeedback training, Jordan began behaving better in school. He recently brought home a perfect report card, straight A's. He's doing great in school. He's always on a roll now. and. I'm not getting the school calls anymore, and I'm liking life a lot better now. It may not be long until children with ADHD are told to study hard, get plenty of sleep, and play their video games.